What's up everybody, welcome back to the Minifigure Creations channel, I'm your host Chase, and today we got the official reveal of two Mandalorian Season 3 sets. Um, now one of these is a $15 or $16 microfighter, and um, the other one is a $35 pirate sub snub fighter. Um, so both of these were kind of seen in the first episode, um, and so let's go with the cheaper one first, um, which is a microfighter, which um, not... To be honest, not my favorite um, sort of um, mini line of sets um, in the Star Wars wave. But yeah, overall, a really solid microfighter. Um, it is $16, though, which a lot of people are complaining about. Not only it's people thought it was going to be $15, it's actually $16. Um, because, like, that, those extra dollars just pile up. I think this is the first set ever, um, well, actually, don't quote me on that, that's, like, not rounded to the nearest five. So, like, instead of fourteen ninety nine, it's fifteen ninety nine. Um, So that's interesting. But, um, yeah, I think that the real standout in this set is the Mandalorian minifigure. Um, we have this brand new sort of um, visor printing, um, and the printing on the helmet is just so much better. And especially right on top, it's really um, similar to what we got um, in the $600 Razor Crest um, that came out um, late last year. Um, and other than that, pretty standard Mandalorian figure, great printing, like always. Um, and this is pr a really solid minifigure that has been continuing into 2023. Um, along with, obviously, Grogu Baby Yoda, um, same old, same old, probably the most repetitive figure ever, with barely any printing, um, but yeah, and then um, overall, the set, I have nothing too much to say about this. It's okay. Just the price is really unjustified. And unless, um, I'm pretty sure that the Mandalorian figure is going to come in another set in this wave that has not been revealed yet because of um, this, because this, um, that set has not been um, shown in the show yet. So, because we're only in episode one, by the time you're seeing this, I think uh, episode two may have been released because um, this is, I don't know what day this is coming out, but yeah, um, so hopefully we get that reveal. I'll make a video, of course, when that set comes out, um, but yeah, so let's move on to the other set, the $34.99 Pirate Snub Fighter. Um, so people have been speculating about this set for a long time, actually, ever since, I think, the end of last year, um, and based on, like, the trailer, we saw what it could be, and this is actually a lot bigger scale than I thought. Um, even though it only has 285 pieces, too many figures, too, that I think is the first Mandalorian set that does not include the Mandalorian. Um, it's really surprising. $35 and only too many figures. It's kind of disappointing. Um, but uh, this is set, it, it really surprised me. It's, it's just another like gray ship. Um, not a lot of interesting building techniques, but I think that um, it, I think it really gets the point across, and people are pointing out how this new, I think this visor piece may be new, or it may be a new tint, sort of a bluish tint, but yeah, box art's really cool, um, like always, the Mandalorian, um, so the Finny figures are Vane, which we saw in the first episode, and the Snub Fighter pilot, okay, so here's where my little gripes come in, I'm not sure if this set is going to appear, or Vane um, is going to appear. I think he might have died in the first episode. Uh, let me know in the comments below what happened um, so I can jog my memory. But, um, yeah, so I don't know why this, like, unless this set appears, um, unless, like, these the sort, of, um, sort of gangsters appear throughout the season, I don't know why we would get this set. I know we got, like, the ATST in, I think, this 2019 um, that only appeared in one set, but that was really iconic. This sh ship is not really iconic at all. Um, so, yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably gonna end up buying this one, um, just because I want to complete the Mandalorian line. Um, but yeah, it, it generally looks really good. Um, it's just the price is really expensive. Price for piece, um, is really, they threw it out the window. Here, let's look at the 360 view. It has three mo three like engine sort of things. I mean, it looks okay. Um, it's kind of flat, um, but other than that, I mean, there's nothing you really can complain about the build. Well, that's interesting. What is that? Okay. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, it. I I I enjoy it. I just think that the only thing that's holding people back from buying this is going to be the price. Same thing with the microfighter. That's really the only problem with these sets. 
Um, and so, yeah, let's let's take a look down um, some of the other things. Yeah, I guess that's really all they're sharing for now. Oh, and so this set will be releasing on May 1st, 2023, and the other set will be releasing on August 1st. Oh, wait. Actually, earlier today... Oh, wow, that's there's a problem on LEGO's part. Earlier today, it did say August 1st. It's available for pre-order. But now it says date, so that might be an issue with LEGO's um, website. Or they might actually have changed the release date. That's really interesting. I can't believe that that's happened. Never seen an actual um, problem. I know people have pointed it out before. I've never actually seen a problem on lego.com like that before. So yeah, so yeah, you can find these sets both on lego.com um, if you go to the pre-orders sort of um, setting or you can just scroll throughout them. But yeah, I think that it looks really cool, um, especially the microfighter with the new figure. That gives me a lot of high hopes for the other Mandalorian figures that have been leaked. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of these sets in the comment section below, um, if you guys are gonna buy them or not, um, like I said before, I'm probably gonna end up buying the Pirate Stump Fighter, probably not right away, probably when it goes on sale, um, and then, it, unless the Mandalorian does not appear in any other sets, I'll have to buy the, uh, Microfighter, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day.